Welcome to another episode of The Menu Show. Once again, we're going retro. Today's retro game was once again on the Urzatz Retro Console, the 360, and it is 1993's, 1995's, Doom. Called Doom on the, three, on the 360. It uh, came out in 2006. It's actually Ultimate Doom, which was 1995. Put up by id Software. I still love this game. For a lot of us older gamers, this was the first one where we cut our teeth on multiplayer gaming. Some of us even used a like, serial and peril connection to other computers. You'd go over to someone else's house with your computer. In my case, it was a, a ThinkPad 500 with a double clock DX25 chip. Oh, man. I had to double space the 20-gig tw the drive to fit Doom on. We'd hook them together with parallel core cables <clears throat> and uh, play multiplayer that way. So, Doom. plays really well with the controller because there's no up and down look. Uh, it's just left and right. There's no, the aiming is so simple, it really works well. See so a single player. Very basic. Multiplayer. I have never played a multiplayer game in this. No one's ever been on. <laughs> so the split screen's a good option, even though there's limited real estate. And again, yeah, the cooperative is a nice option, but I've never found anyone else online. I'm sure they exist. I just uh, don't know where they are. They're not playing with me. Oh, in multiplayer, when you go live, you can also quick match, standard, custom, choose your settings for what you want. And of course, create match, the same kind of options. Very standard for anybody with uh, any familiarity with multiplayer games. Oh, leaderboards, I'm sure that one there's... Um, Overall, does that really mean he's played 500 hours? Really? 500 hours? 498 hours of Doom? That's incredible. That must be the one game you have, or you let it run for. Maybe just let it run. He just turned it on and stayed in the corner and let it run forever. That's just wrong. Same kind of options for cooperative. your achievements, help and options. Again, very simple. Think of the music there. Yeah. Yeah. I never have the music up, but actually it's a really good musical score. I'm just used to having it down all the time. One thing I do like is the screen size option, which you used to use on your computer when you had a terrible processor. You'd shrink the uh, screen right down to as small as you could get so you'd get faster frame rates. You're always checking your frame rate versus what you could tolerate, trying to get as fast as possible because you didn't want someone coming up behind you with that BFG when you were lagging, trying to get it, get turned around. Why it still exists on here? I don't know, but it's fun. How to play? Again, basic. Shoot, shoot, run over stuff. It's a very, it's a, it's a, it's a closet monster hunter. Everything's a corridor. It's always monsters in closets. Very basic, classic. Yep. As you can see, no jumping. And the credits, which of course read like a who's who Hall of Fame of gaming. With Carmack and Ebrash and Romero and Taylor. Just legendary names in gaming. Some for good, some for ill. Let's go back to settings. Listen to that sound. I'm using one. Oops. It was, a once upon a time, a great game to play with headphones on. On your computer, in your bedroom, or... Even, you would take them to travel with your little laptop. Something in the back seat, you're playing Doom. Alright, well thanks for tuning in, that was the Menu Show Goes Retro. We'll see you next time.